This is Ken Kreitzer for CamVest Media. We're in Arlington, Texas at the Army Air Force game. You get a chance to hear about a new helicopter that the Sikorsky Company, uh, part of Lockheed Martin, is, uh, is presenting today. And we have a chance to talk to Colonel Jay Macklin from Sikorsky. Colonel, good to see you. What's it like to be at the game today? Oh, it's a fantastic environment. I mean, just the energy here, see the great, uh, you know, the cadets, you know, out here from West Point and also from the Air Force Academy. It's going to be a fantastic day, fantastic game. Great game last year, went into overtime. And uh, just the energy and everything here, it's fantastic. Very good. Tell us how you're presenting uh, this new helicopter. You call it Vertical Lift, and it's got a very intricate double rotor up on top. Tell us a little bit about uh, the Raider. Yeah, great. Yeah, the S-97 Raider, uh, part of Sikorsky, you know, part of Rotary Mission Systems in Lockheed Martin. You know, it's really uh, in, as part of the program for future vertical lift. And, and you know, uh, the U.S. Army challenged industry with how do we achieve speed beyond what the current aircraft do today. And the way we chose to, to solve that problem was to get rid of the traditional tail rotor and add a propulsor in the back of the aircraft. So now with two counter-rotating rotors on the top that are rigid, we put a propulsor in the back that accelerates the aircraft level body speed. This aircraft is a prototype that we have in support of the, the Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft Program as part of FVL. This aircraft's flown 205 knots, is incredibly agile and maneuverable down at very low speed, which we believe is essential for survivability in the years 2030 and beyond. Goes without saying, helicopter is our main element for the Army, our main uh, tool. Why is this helicopter going to help support the Army for decades in the future? Oh, great, great question. You know, again, you know, in 2030 and beyond, it's kind of it's about survivability, you know, against near peer threats. And so we've got to have a transformational capability beyond of what the aircraft today, you know, are able to achieve. And that's part of the Army's modernization efforts, and that's what we're in support of. So two programs here, the Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft, which is that scout helicopter out in front of those Army divisions. And then the second aircraft is a long-range assault aircraft, or FLARA which there's an ongoing competition right now. Again, low level, level body acceleration, deceleration, and the ability to land on the, on the objective. That's why Raider X and Defiant X, as the operators uh, tend to call it, you land the objective or the X. And we feel these aircraft, we call it X2 technology is what enables all this. You know, fly-by-wire system, counter-rotating rigid rotors, and then the propulsor. And so we really feel that this aircraft gives you the ability to maneuver at low altitude and high speed to increase that survivability of those crews of the future. We talked to a lot of uh, cadets who want to go aviation, ROTC uh, grads. Why is this going to be a good helicopter for them to fly? Yeah, I, I'm a, a again, retired uh, Army Colonel, flew Blackhawks 26 years. And I will tell you the, the capability that this aircraft, these, the X2 technology provides is, you know, it, it's incredibly, it's incredible. It's beyond what they can do today. So those cadets that are, have the, the ability to fly, you know, these next gen helicopters is phenomenal. And I think that it's gonna enable, you know, the US military to maintain, you know, that level of dominance that, 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 that we've had for a number of years. And it's just, an, it's just an incredible opportunity that these cadets, it's very exciting to think some of the football players out on the field today will get a chance to fly these aircraft in the future. So uh, again, as a former uh, aviation commander uh, being deployed, I look at what these aircraft can do and think what I could have done with these aircraft, game changing. Absolutely. We do a lot on STEM education. Why is it important to study STEM education if you want to be in the military, fly a helicopter, even work at your company? Oh, uh, uh, incredible. I mean, it, it, you know, the engineering that goes behind this technology is, you know, what, what Sikorsky and Lockheed Martin are able to bring to that effort are, you know, are amazing. And I tell you, it starts with STEM. And so the, uh, the, the engineers I work with on a daily basis on this program, brilliant, brilliant, great thinkers and, and really a true treasure of our nation. And so uh, it, it really enables this technology to, to be able to develop this technology to give these kind of capabilities for the future. So again, STEM is very important and, and it, is, it is a cornerstone. The engineering is a cornerstone of everything we do at Sikorsky and Lockheed Martin. 
Final question, is there a highlight of your service in the U.S. Army that stands out, a, a special moment or a role that you played? Yeah, I, I think uh, a thing that always stands out to me is, you know, we deployed into Iraq uh, for 15 months uh, with my task force, you know, with Blackhawks, and we brought everybody home. And, uh, and it's that moment that, that I can always think back on when we marched into that hangar with all the families and, and the tough things that we did uh, you know, during a tough time uh, for our military and the Army, and, uh, and we brought everybody home. And I, again, I, I look at, at, I flew Sikorsky products, I work for Sikorsky now, uh, I, the Black Hawk helicopter. I mean, I, I absolutely believe in it. I believe in the technology that, that made it to what it is today. And that's why I believe that, you know, Sikorsky has the right solution, you know, moving forward for future vertical lift. You know, 40 plus years of supporting and being a partner to the Army. So I think it's always when a moment stands out, it's those moments in combat and, you know, bringing everybody home. It, it was pretty special in my mind. Absolutely. We hear that from military people as a highlight. So important. Colonel Jay Macklin from Sikorsky, part of the Lockheed Martin Company. Thank you for your service and thank you for telling us about the new helicopter and your career of service. Thank you very much, sir, and uh, enjoy the game. Absolutely. It's Ken Kratzer for Cam Fats Media in Arlington, Texas.